morning, everybody. It's Brad Firewood at the Furnace, and I got the whole family in the truck today. Brady's here, Taylor's in the back. There is my mom, and Valerie is in the passenger seat. And today we are on a road trip. We are heading to Lexington, North Carolina, and we're going to pick up a new piece of equipment for the wood yard. So stick with us, and we'll take you on our journey and show you what we're getting. Alright, welcome back everybody. We're in Greensboro, North Carolina today. Uh, we drove down from Maryland yesterday and this is my Uncle Gary, my Aunt Vicki, and my cousin Caroline. They live here in Greensboro, North Carolina and they were gracious enough to let us stay the night here with them so that we didn't have to make the trip down and back the same day. So we had a great dinner last night with the family and uh, we're loading up now to head down to Lexington which is about 30 or 40 minutes away from here to pick up the dump trailer and we're going to be heading back north to Maryland. So I just wanted to introduce you to some more of my family. Uh, they were treated us great here down in Greensboro. And uh, we'll see you in a few minutes when we pick up the dump trailer. All right, everybody, here we are at Kaufman Trailer Sales in Lexington, North Carolina. The truckload of trailers going out now. And those piles of lumber back here, that's all just lumber for the trailers that they produce. So they got drop deck trailers, open trailers, dump trailers, car trailers, and uh, this is factory direct down here. There's, they don't have any dealers. Every, they sell everything factory direct right from the factory. They pump out four to 500 trailers get picked up from here every week. So it's a pretty big production. We've got all kinds of attachments over here, loader attachments. And uh, right now what they're doing is, this is my dump trailer. This is my new dump trailer, everybody. So what they're doing is they're adjusting the adjustable coupler on it right now so it can sit level with my truck. The back of the truck sits pretty high. So they're taking care of that for me. We're getting hooked up. And as you can see, it's pouring down rain. It's been raining here all day, so I'm not able to do a walk around right now. But as soon as we get it back home to Maryland, I'll give you a walk around. It's a 7 by 14 dump trailer made by Kaufman Trailers. And as you can see, this is a huge facility. There's trailers everywhere. Alright, this is uh, Phil from Kaufman Trailer How's Sales and he's my salesman on this trailer. And I'll just give you a secret, if you call here and order your trailer, you get a 3% discount if you bring cash. There you go. So if you're in the market for a trailer, any kind of trailer, call down here and talk to Phil. I'll put the number at the bottom of the screen. I'll put their website at the bottom of the screen and all the information in the description of the video. But Phil's your man for your trailer, so give him a call. That'll work. Give us a call. All right, so the rain let up just a little bit. And before I pull out of here, I wanted to show you all. This is the stack of tires here that they are using to build trailers with. You guys saw from a distance all the lumber that they use to build the decks of the trailers with. And I just think it's a heck of an operation here. And they don't have any dealers, like I said earlier. There's no dealership you can go buy these trailers from. They're factory direct, so you cut out the middleman and when we get back home into Maryland and I go over this trailer a little more in detail with you, I'm going to tell you what the reasons were why I decided to make the drive to North Carolina and buy a trailer from Kaufman Trailer Sales. And I think you're going to realize that it was worth it uh, when it comes to cost. So here you go. Here's the trailer. I'm going to turn you around here. She's all hooked up. The tarp's mounted on top. Like I said, it's a 7x14 trailer. It's a 15,000 GVW, LED lights in the back, and we'll go over this in a lot more detail here in just a minute when we get back home to Maryland. All right, so here we are back home in Maryland. It took us about six hours and 20 minutes to get home from Lexington, North Carolina yesterday. So today is Tuesday, and you'll see this video tomorrow on Wednesday. But I just wanted to, we got the trailer back here at the wood yard and I just wanted to go over this thing a little more in detail with you and give you some of the options and some of the uh, characteristics of this brand trailer that uh, brought me to the decision to buy a Kaufman. So here we go. All right, so I figured we'd start at the left front of the trailer and we'll work our way around. I've got some notes written down here so I don't give you any misinformation or forget to tell you about something. But we'll start right up at the front over here with the coupler. It's got an adjustable coupler on it. Uh, when we hooked this trailer up at the at the uh, factory yesterday, 
you saw them adjusting the bolts on this. So no matter how high or low your truck is, this coupler can be adjusted to make sure the trailer rides level. It's a two and five sixteenths inch coupler. It's made of cast iron, so it's uh, heavy duty. You've got heavy duty tow chains here, a seven way pin for your lights and your uh, trailer brakes. It's got the emergency breakaway switch here for the brakes. And this was one of the reasons I went with the heavy duty uh, dump trailer here was because of this jack. Um, a lot of this dump trailers, the cheaper dump trailers, they have the, the hand crank like on your little landscaping trailers. And I didn't like that. So this is pretty much like the landing gear that you'd see on a tractor trailer. Uh, I want to get this right for you. So the jack is a 12,000 pound drop foot jack. You just pull the handle, it comes down, locks into place, crank it up. And when you're done, you pull the handle and it pops right up. So that's nice. We'll move on to the toolbox here. You come on in and show them this. The deep cycle battery comes included with the hydraulic pump. The tank's in here. And I believe you've got 10 foot of wire for your remote. And we'll get the body up here in just a few minutes to show you that. But another option some of these dump trailers have is the uh, gas strut that holds the lid up. Well, the way they've got this designed is there's no strut, but it's got a stopper plate here so that this lid can't go too far because some of your trailers where the lid flops all the way over, when if you have the dump body up and you lower the dump body, you might crush your lid. So that problem is eliminated by that uh, little tab that's welded on here. So we'll move down the side. It's got the optional uh, tarp kit. I had that added. That's not standard with, with this trailer in particular, but I did have that added. It's got the reflective DOT tape all the way around. Uh, it's got heavy duty diamond plate fenders with steps on both ends of the fender so you can get up in the trailer. Uh, completely walkable, so that's a nice feature. Uh, the, the wheels are 16 inch wheels. They're 235 by 80 by 16 tires uh, with eight lugs. So that's pretty heavy duty as well. You got slipper, slipper spring suspension in between uh, the axles here. The axles are 7,000 pound axles with easy lube hubs. So that'll be good for maintenance. Uh, we start at the front, but you see here it's got LED marker lights. There's one on the front corner, one on the back corner, one on the side here. Everything's completely LED lighting, so that's a nice feature as well. With your tie downs for your bungees on each cross member here uh, to secure your tarp. So we'll move on to the back, and if you look at the doors, uh, it's got your standard barn doors plus the spreader gate option, so it's a combination tailgate. So everybody knows the barn doors, how they work. Barn doors swing open and the way they lock into place is when they get fully open, there's a pin here that will lock the door and the door opens completely so it's not sticking out, you know, 45 degrees or out to the side. So if you need to back into somewhere that's narrow, those doors swing completely out of the way. So that lines up nice. Good fit and finish there. While we've got the doors open, I'll show you the D-rings. Got D-ring uh, welded into the floor on all four corners. I know some of the other brand trailers have the D-rings welded to the sides. And I, I can see a advantage and a disadvantage to that. So the advantage is, is that when you're dumping the D-rings, if they're not on the floor, something may or may not get hung up. So a lot of people like them on the side so that nothing can get hung up when you're dumping. So I asked that question to the manufacturer and they said they choose to weld them to the floor because this floor is 10 gauge steel and the sides are 12 gauge steel. So it's, it's heavier duty, it's thicker metal and uh, a, better, a better securement area. So I was, I was uh, satisfied with that explanation.
This is a one piece floor. There's no seams in the floor. One solid piece of steel covers the entire bed of the trailer. So we'll close these doors and I'll show you, I'll show you how the, uh, how the part of the gate works. So we'll latch the barn doors. And if you come over here to this side, this is how your spreader gate will work. So you've got a chain here that's adjustable on both sides for how far you want your tailgate to open. But if you want to do some spread and you just pull this pin, pull this lever, and now your tailgate swings open like a typical dump truck. And you can set that if you're spreading gravel down a driveway or spreading dirt or whatever you're doing. You set that to how fast you want the material to come out of the trail. All right. So, as you can see, the LED tail lights are high up on the trailer on both sides. Nothing's down low underneath to where when you dump the trailer, you might drag it on something and break your lights. Better visibility and out of the way, hopefully to prevent damage. The only lights that are under the trailer are the three ID lights in the center and the uh, registration plate light. Alongside these lights are your ramps. Haven't had these out yet. So we'll pull one out. So they're six foot long. And they're heavy. So got the lip here. Locks it on there so you don't have to worry about that falling off. Six foot long like I said. Both sides. So we'll move on around to this side. So here's your other train chain for setting the spreader gate. You got that on both sides. Grease zerks on all the hinges. So easy maintenance. Pretty much this side is just like the other side with the exception of the spare tire mount, which I did not get. Maybe I should have, but we can add that on a little bit later. It's got raised bulkhead on the front, raised posts on the rear that will accept sideboards. So you get a two by 10 or two by 12 board. You can have sideboards on the side of the trailer, which I think I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna raise the bed up and show you what it looks like underneath. All right, so we've got a 46 degree dump angle. As you can see, it is the scissor lift. Uh, you've got three options as far as the lift mechanism goes. You have the dual ram, which has a ram on each side of the frame, which pushes the trailer up from pretty much the center of the frame or behind the center of the frame. Uh, that's normally your cheaper option. Then the next level is the scissor lift. But one thing I like about these trailers is most of the scissor lifts that you see on other manufacturers trailers push from the center of the trailer like in this area well they've got this scissor lift designed to where it is pushing on the scissor but the main pivot point is in the front of the trailer which makes a lot more sense now the telescopic lift is your best option uh, to dump like most dump trucks have dumped for years uh, but Coffin doesn't offer that option, and uh, supposedly that is the, the best option, but it's not offered on this trailer. But I do like how they have this scissor lift design. So grease zerks on all the pivot points here. And as you can see, the cross members are welded in the floor 
every, I believe it's 16 or 18 inches. And it's not just in the bottom of the body, it goes all the way to the front. Some of your cheaper trailers you will also see have cross members every 16 to 18 inches in the back of the trailer towards the middle where the, where the uh, scissor lift or the rams push. But as you get towards the front, it gets a lot wider spread. And this trailer does not do that. It, it runs the full length of the body underneath. So the next thing I'm gonna do is talk to you about why I chose Kaufman trailers and give you the pros and cons that I discovered when doing my research. All right, so before we go over my decision-making factors, I wanted to touch on a couple of things I missed during the walk around. The frame of the trailer underneath is a six inch channel frame with six inch channel tongue. So where the tongue comes together, where it meets with the coupler in the front of the trailer, some trailers you'll have a, a larger frame rail on the actual trailer, but then a smaller piece of steel that comes together for the coupler. This is six inch all the way around uh, channel frame. Uh, I just wanted to touch on that. I think that's pretty much everything I missed. The sides are 24 inches tall. Uh, they do have an option that you can get to have higher sides, I believe 36 inch sides. But this is the standard 24 inch sides and I think that covers everything I wanted to let you know. Um, but now I wanna to talk to you about why I chose Kaufman trailers, which a lot of you are probably interested in. And a lot of dump trailers uh, when doing research have a lot of the same features. They have a lot of, uh, some will have, you know, a pro here, but a con there, and then the other brand will be the opposite. So if any of you are into campers or are camping and have bought RVs before, it's kind of a give and take thing. You can't always get everything that you want. So you have to, to know what your needs are and choose the best option for you. So I went over all the options that this trailer has, uh, but two of the deciding factors for me was that this Kaufman trailer is one of the only trailer manufacturers that prime and paint their trailers rather than powder coat. This trailer is uh, bead blasted, primed, and has two coats of automotive enamel paint with hardener uh, as the finish. Now, my opinion on that is powder coat, depending on how you prep the metal before you do the powder coating process, uh, is a big determining factor on the quality of the finish long term. I see a lot of dump trailers running around here that are only a couple years old that are rusting and flaking and, and haven't survived well at all. And I think a lot of that has to do with the preparation of the metal prior to the powder coating process. Now, when that starts to happen on a powder coated trailer, it's pretty hard to repair. You can't just fix it yourself. But on a painted trailer, if that starts to happen, I can sand it, prime it, paint it, spray paint it with Rust-Oleum if I want to. And uh, I can stay on top of that a lot easier. So I, I personally like the fact that this trailer is painted rather than powder coated. There's lots of different opinions on that and everybody's entitled to their own, but that's just my opinion. Now, the second uh, determining factor for me was that these trailers, as I explained earlier in the video, are factory direct. There's no dealerships around the country where you can buy these trailers. You cut out the middleman, as I told you before, and so there's no markup. Now, SureTrack trailers are one of the more premier trailers, dump trailers out there. And I know some of you have SureTrack trailers and they are great trailers. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything bad about those um, because I did a lot of research on those as well and they're quality built trailers. Uh, but when I was doing my pricing, I found out that Kaufman trailers, if you come to their plant in Lexington, North Carolina, you pick it up directly from the factory and you get a 3% discount if you pay with cash. So that right off the bat is, is a pretty substantial discount. Now, because you don't have the middleman and because you don't have uh, the markup, the trailer is already cheaper than most other models out there. Now, I've got a couple prices here when I was shopping for trailers that I got. These are actual prices from dealers and I priced a SureTrack 7x12. This is a 7x14 that I have but I priced a SureTrack 7x12 trailer with 12,000 gross vehicle weight rating, and they gave me a price of $10,795. So that was the, the first trailer that I researched. 
I then called another dealership, Bartley Trailers, if you want to look those up so you know I'm, I'm being completely uh, transparent here and honest with you all. Bartley Trailers here in Maryland, I called them and they have a six to eight month wait time. Uh, you have to order your trailer and it's six to eight months minimum. They don't guarantee that time. And I priced a seven by 14, same size as this trailer, with 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And they quoted me a price of $10,900. So going back to Kaufman Trailers, uh, I got a hold of them. This is the deluxe heavy duty bumper pool, low profile dump, seven by 14 with 7,000 pound axles. So it's actually, they have, they have a homeowner type trailer, they have a medium duty type trailer, and then they have the heavy duty trailer, which this is. So I got a price on this, and if I was paying cash, which I told them I would be, uh, because I told you I was saving up, because I didn't want to finance a trailer, I didn't want to go in debt, I wanted to save my money, reinvest into this firewood thing, and uh, pay cash. So that's what I did and out the door with the optional tarp kit on the front, my total all said and done was $8,331.33. I don't know if you can see that. $8,331.33. So that's more than $2,000 cheaper for this trailer. And, uh, that kind of sealed the deal for me. So I hope that helped you out with, uh, oh, and they threw in this hat too. I'm a hat guy. So if any of you all have hats for your channels, let me know. I'd be interested. But anyway, that was the siding factors, and that's why I got this trailer. I hope I helped you all out, gave you some information. I'm not trying to push these trailers on anybody. I'm not sponsored by Kaufman Trailers, and this is my only experience with owning a dump trailer. So there's a lot of videos out there that talk about SureTrack dump trailers and uh, other brands of dump trailers. And I haven't really seen much online about Kaufman, probably because there's not dealerships all around the country where they're easily accessible unless you go get it. So I hope this video helped you out, gave you a little more information on Kaufman trailers. Uh, if you're interested, I'll have all the information in the description. We are quickly approaching 1,000 subscribers. And uh, it just blows my mind. I just can't even believe that this has turned into what it is in seven months. But you all are awesome. This community is awesome. And I'm so thankful for it because it's, it, has really, it has really helped me in, you know, through this part of my life. If you've been following the channel all along, you, you get what I'm saying. But I enjoy interacting with everybody. And I, I, I thank you all so much. I know I say it all the time, but I'll say it again. So I hope you all have a great week. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Oh, and one more thing. I was looking at some of my analytics the other day, and did you know that 64% of my viewers on this channel are not subscribed? So I don't know why that is. I don't, I don't understand the whole algorithms and analytics and all, but I did notice that stat that 64, 65% of my, of my viewers are not subscribed. So smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. And hopefully we will hit 1,000 subscribers and we will be doing a giveaway. And we're going to give away a few prizes. So take care, everybody. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.